Polyolster oil is one of the best oil for our 410A compressors. Polyolster pole oils are synthetic lubricants known for their excellent lubricity and chemical stability, which make them suitable for the high-pressure environments of our 410A system. Most people keep asking how to add AC compressor oil to the compressor. Here is the best and simplified trick to charge oil to AC compressor. What you need is a single charging hose and a container of polyolster oil. Before charging the oil to the AC compressor, the unit must be on and running. You have to inlet points to charge oil into the compressor. The first is the refrigerant charging valve, and second is the suction valve of the AC. Both work efficiently, but I prefer using the suction valve because it's fast and saves time, while the other seems slow and time-consuming. If you like Here the video, is the practical the demonstration on how to charge channel. compressor and oil to the compressor I need just a single charging hose with the oil in a container. I will first demonstrate by charging through the refrigerant charging valve. You can see it works, but obviously working in a slow rate which I may not be patient enough to see it moving to the compressor. Now I want to demonstrate by charging through the suction valve. Obviously this working perfectly well and faster with less time spent. AC compressor oil has many benefits for a split type AC, including There are numerous benefits of compressor oil in split type air conditioner which I would love to use this medium to educate you some of the important benefits which includes, but not limited to Prevents premature failure Oil reduces friction and overheating, which can help prevent the compressor from failing early Extends the lifespan of the compressor A compressor with enough oil will last longer Maintains seals. Oil helps maintain the seal between the high and low pressure sides of the compressor. This prevents refrigerant from leaking out. Absorbs heat. Oil absorbs heat generated by the compressor during the cooling process, which helps maintain operating temperatures and reduces the risk of burnout. Traps debris. Oil traps debris in the system. Dampens noise. Oil acts as a noise dampener within the compressor. The frequency of oil changes depends on the type of compressor and how often it's used. The user manual for the machine should have specific instructions. In general, the oil should be changed every 100 to 200 hours or every few months. If you like my video and you like what I do, click to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another interesting video. Thank you.